Hey YouTube, uh, this is Mac, obviously, and I'm sorry for the delays on the shows, but I lost my iPod, so yeah, I recently found it, but that's why there's been, hasn't been very many shows up. Um, so my power's out, so yeah, I figured I'd just take my dad's laptop and get this show on the road. Like, our internet's not working or anything, but I fortunately wrote all my notes down in a notebook. And this show's gonna be on the freshwater sawfish. Woo! The freshwater sawfish is most commonly found in Australia, although it exists in other parts of the world. And the Aborigines call it Araguagua. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, there have been reports of sawfish growing up to 20 feet long, and they're critically endangered, so you can't fish for them. You have to have a special permit that the government gives you. Uh, they resemble sharks from, like, their pectoral fins down. Their fins are really long and stuff, and their bodies are long and agile. But they also resemble rays because they have really flat heads and their mouths are on the bottom with like crushing plates for a mouth. And then of course they have this big long snout with a saw on it and you're just like, wow. Uh, in the late 1930s, there was a man who harpooned a large sawfish and it bumped into his boat and then started thrashing and sliced him in half. And the man surprisingly lived, but the blow exposed his intestines, and so they were like hanging out of him. That's disgusting. But I found that it was pretty, pretty epic. Uh, and the larger ones have been known to cut canoes and stuff, like attack them. It's pretty epic. They are very predatory, and they have glands in their snout them enable them to hunt at night which I think is really cool because they like pick up the electric vibrations coming out from a fish and then they can just like <laughs> nail them and yeah all right well thank you for this special edition of blackout Mac answers woo because it's all dark and black thanks for watching rate comment subscribe thank you